Hi, Fort Lee. It's Mayor Mark Sokolich with an update on the COVID-19 public health crisis. Um, I'm going to refer to my notes during the course of this video because I want to make sure that I am as accurate as I could possibly be. But today's video is going to focus on protocols, on what the borough does once we are advised of a positive COVID-19 case here in our community. Now, that's important to me that you know this protocol. Why? Because if you find out about positive cases from a friend, from a third party in the news media, I don't want you to think that Fort Lee is not telling you this information. It's just that there are certain protocols and procedures that are put into place for each case on a case by case basis. So whenever there is either a presumptive or confirmed case of COVID-19, our health officer, Jill Scarpa, is advised. Not me, not the borough administrator, not the council. And that's important because once Jill is advised by the Department of Health of a confirmed or presumptive case, Jill immediately starts what's called a medical investigation. Now, those cases, as I indicated, are reported to Jill and she then continues with what's called a medical investigation, which is a series of very detailed questions to determine who this individual came into contact with. Direct and close contacts are then identified during the course of this medical investigation and the health department of the borough of Fort Lee promptly notifies those individuals to self-quarantine. Now, the individual that tested positive will go into self-isolation or if it's serious enough, will be treated at the hospital. If treated at the hospital, it's the healthcare providers that will take care of that individual. If self-isolation is the case and, and that positive case remains in Fort Lee, our health department will monitor that individual during the course of this self-isolation. The health department interviews are conducted to identify, as I said, direct or close contact cases during the time frame of concern. Now, what's the time frame of concern? It's as of the date that the symptoms uh, started through the date of isolation. So we want to know from the point that the positive case showed symptoms up to the point that the positive case went into isolation. That might be a day, two days, five days. But during that period, we need to know who they came into contact with. Those contacts then are promptly notified by the health department to please self-quarantine. Now, the positive case will go into self-isolation. Can't see anybody because that person is confirmed to be sick and we certainly don't want him or her to spread the virus. Those with whom the positive case came into contact with will self-quarantine for 14 days to determine whether or not symptoms begin to happen. Now, if symptoms arise, then you'll contact your healthcare provider immediately. If symptoms don't uh, arise, then you'll contact the health department and you will be released from self-quarantine. So it's very, very important to know that once we are advised, and again, it's our health officer that's advised before me, before anybody else, we then take these steps to identify who the positive case came into contact with. Simple as that. We then make sure we contact all of those individuals to self quarantine. Now I want to talk a little bit specifically about residents in a high rise building because we have a lot of them here in town. If you're a resident in the same building as someone who was confirmed to be a positive COVID-19 case, this does not automatically classify you as a close contact of the confirmed case. Now, please hear me on this. According to the New Jersey Department of Health and the CDC, close contacts are people defined as being within six feet of a positive case for a prolonged period of time. And it, the regulations say a minimum of 10 minutes. So if you were in close contact with a positive case for at least 10 minutes, you'll be notified to please self-quarantine. Also, you will be deemed someone in direct contact with an infected individual if you, had, you were coughed on or sneezed on or, or, or there was very, very close contact, even much closer than the six feet. That will be identified during the course of the medical investigation. You'll be contacted and you'll be asked to please self-quarantine so you do not spread the disease. So 
The reason why I'm sharing this with you is because instinctively, when we're ultimately advised through Jill of the case here in the borough of Fort Lee, we love to run to the mountaintop and announce it. But the regulations require us to proceed in a very systematic way so that we don't panic people. We don't have people start to, uh, you know, take guesses and, and wonder where it is and who it is and who it isn't. It's not about that. It's about proceeding in a very systematic way and identify the people that the confirmed case came into contact with. And then those people self-quarantine. The individual that's sick and has and test tested positive will go into self-isolation, will be treated by doctors, monitored by the health department. Self-quarantine will likewise be monitored to determine whether there are any symptoms during a 14-day period. So again, Fort Lee, our health officer is initially notified. We conduct a medical investigation. We contact the individuals with whom that person came into close contact, and that's who we're focusing on. To announce this globally, or to announce this across the entire community, community doesn't do us any good. It doesn't help the people with whom the positive case came into direct contact with, and it, it, it encourages concern that we don't need to actually share with everybody. We're not keeping it from you. We're just trying to devote all of our energies to the positive case and the people with whom the positive case came into direct contact. So thank you for listening. Those are the protocols. And you will continue to hear about cases in Fort Lee. And you will ask yourself, hey, where's our mayor? Our mayor is following the regulations and what's prescribed by the State Department of Health. And these regulations are designed to help everybody and preserve everyone's health, safety, and welfare. I just want to do a huge shout out on behalf of the 40,000 people that call Fort Lee home to those folks that have contracted COVID-19. Right now, there are seven confirmed cases in the borough, as I indicated. And just know that our thoughts and our prayers are with you. You're going to be fine. You know, listen to the doctors. You're going to get through this. And uh, together, this challenge uh, will be a distant memory one day. But right now, it's important that you take care of yourself and know that the entire community is pulling for you. So thank you. And I also want to thank you for cooperating with our health department so that we can identify direct contacts so that we make sure that we stem the spread of COVID-19. So to the folks that have been confirmed to have this virus, I and everybody else in the borough of Fort Lee are thinking about you and uh, we wish you Godspeed.